Dang. Good morning, everybody. This is Antonio with hey. Tops of Foreign Board Goats. Um, I know it's been a while. <laughs> oh, it's actually been a week now. Um, just woke up like maybe 10 minutes ago. Um, yeah, just, um, oh my goodness, Jack's being. Okay, yeah, I um, just wanted to make a, um, a video. I have a couple things to do. Um, not sure if I will include it to this video. Maybe I might do like a little, another video, maybe Monday or Tuesday or something like that. But a couple things I need to do is deworm the whole herd. And I do need to um, do the hooves, cut, cut the hooves down. So that's my two two big things. But uh, if, if you can tell, I'm not sure if you can hear new new noises, but I do have baby sheep now. I have some lambs on the ground. So let me show you guys that. So here's the baby lambs. We do have this one right here. She's that one's a female, that one's a ram, and that one's an ewe. So you know, sorry, ewe, ewes. So yeah, so far so good. Um, that one, she did have twin twin girls which is good, so um, I kind of watched a couple of videos of them doing their tails. Um, I just bought a castrating tool so I can um, dock their tails. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard. That one's the new one. Hopefully they're not too mean to her. Then we have that one. She's due next, so she keeps walking in there and walking back out, so hopefully she has the babies this, this or today. But... We do have, I think, three more boar goats left. She's due. Um, where's the other one? That? So that one's due. This one's due right here. Then we have the one I bought. She's due. So she was bred to a, a traditional buck. He looked pretty decent, but not bad. It looks like we do have maybe twins or, yeah, I would say twins or triplets. We'll see. But. Those are the last three that I'm done for kidding season. The only thing that, that does suck is that I do have... So I bought these guys as yearlings. That one, this one, and I have two traditionals. Um, they were... They were, I think they were... The guy that I bought them from, he was set to breed them uh, when they were about two years old. That's the way he does it. But she's these are open does. There's four of them. So these are open does, so um, I wanted to breed them, but I'll just wait till fall time. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I do have one more left that's still going to kid out soon. Where's she at? I think she's right there. Oh, no. Where is she at? I don't know where she's at. Oh. Let me find. Oh, she's right here. Sorry. So this is the last one that's gonna kid out. This girl right here. So she looks like she's not gonna have anything, so. But at the same time, she can probably only have a single preemie or a small one. Cause she is a lot smaller than everybody else. <clears throat> These guys are definitely doing good. This one's becoming really friendly now. This one's our Zozo. So, then there's our little tiger. It's a hot mess. Oh yeah, and I did purchase a pony. I did make a video, but I think we're just gonna end up selling him. Let me show you guys him. So, I, we actually bought the pony for Paulo's birthday. So we can, you know, saddle him up and have kids ride him and Paul can ride him sometimes. But, it just didn't come out the way that we wanted to. And then this guy right here, we brushed him. Skips. So that's what that's all that's from yesterday. Yeah, this guy's name is Cowboy. He's uh, standing, I would say, his back. I'm not sure how you measure horses or ponies. People ask about when I was selling him, how many hands is he? I just said, I don't know. Um, but he's about 40 inches, I would say. He's a little guy. He's a uh, cut, so. Yeah, um, oh yeah, and one thing is that, it, I know there's quite a few people that watch my videos. Um, sometimes it'll be thousands, sometimes it'll be a few hundreds, sometimes it'll be just maybe 90 people. But, 
Um, what do you guys do in this situation? So I bought this dog as a guardian dog. It's just him. I'm not sure if I should buy another one. Um, but he's sitting about six months. Um, and he's starting to nibble on goats and chase the babies. So we just have him tied up for now in, in the same pen. I'm not sure what you guys would do in this situation. Um, but if you guys can, comment down below. So I can definitely check, you know, at least try some of those techniques and see what see if it does work on him or not. But, so yeah, so he's uh, in timeout, I guess. So let me get start on feeding them. Let's go. Okay, so um, I just got done throwing some hay in there through two. So each feeder has had, had two. I call them slices. They're usually about well, three, four inches thick. So that's what I call them, just slices, whatever. So, um, so I use about 10 slices each feeding. One goes in here, one goes in the boys' pen. Um, so far, so good. Um, I'll show you guys these, these little ones right here. So this one came from my friend, uh, Santiago. She's doing really good. She's uh, probably one, the skittish one here. Uh, this one's turned out really good. Um, I haven't named the, these ones from Santiago yet. Just 22 and 24. But so far, Sunny's doing good. Uh, Zozo is actually really big, so. And then we got Tiger. Tiger's doing pretty good. He's still the smallest one here. So hopefully we get some growing in shortly because I don't want that guy to be too short for breeding this year. <clears throat> but let me show you um, the rest of this stuff. So this guy I tried to go in where the grain was. Cause it, that's where they're eating right now. These are little lambs. These are the two females. So they're all doing good. I had to separate the sheep because I know the goats are usually mean to the sheep. So I'm making another pin over there. I think in my last video I did say that. Um, I'm making another pin over there, over there, but the audio wasn't that good. So, let's see. They're eating kind of like a, a sweet feed right now. I'll show you right now. Hey, watch out. So this is what they're eating right now. Um, they go through it pretty, pretty dang fast. And this is the boys' pen. So they're doing good. Same thing. He's barely nibbling, nibbling on it. So let me uh, untie this guy and I think I'll be done for today. I'll show you why why he's why he's not good for a horse that we wouldn't want on a pony. Cause he's pretty scared. Okay, cowboy. But once they get close to him and touch him, he's just fine. I'll let him go for today. I'll show you why. He just takes right off. Oh. I'll, I'll show you why. Look. I just go right next to him and he takes right off. So, he is good on a halter. Um, but when it comes down to uh, actually wanting to ride him and stuff and do that, he's really scared. He's, I would say he's, he's pretty easy to catch in this pin, but when it comes down to this bigger pin, there's no way I'm gonna catch him. I'm gonna say corner him and go from there. Okay guys, well, that's I guess that kinda concludes everything for today. Thank you guys for watching. I know I, I did say I will upload every Sunday. I was supposed to make a cool video yesterday um i was just gonna kind of record a little road trip i was supposed to go get a, a bottle calf he's a black angus bull and 
I guess he wasn't, um, I guess the guy actually had to go to work, so I was able to go out there. But yeah, um, I know my last video, I did have my t-shirt on. Um, if you guys want to, you guys can support me and buy a t-shirt. It's like, what, 1995? Um, I did buy one, and it was pretty, probably took about two weeks to get here. Um, not bad. But, I guess this will conclude it, okay? So, um, yeah, if you guys can, like, subscribe. Only, like, maybe 2 or 3% of people are subscribed that watch my videos. But if you guys can, subscribe, like. If you, if you can, share it. Share it with friends, family. Um, but today is, is Easter. Uh, so we'll probably be butchering a sheep to, today. I don't know if I should record it or not, but we'll see. It's, it's on the in-law side. So they, they're, they're wanting to butcher a sheep. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you guys. Bye.